Hi guys, welcome back to Frog and Toad Online. Today we're going to be doing a review of our animal sounds and the signs, as well as making a DIY funnel ball container thing. And what you're gonna do, I'm using the same container that I used in my first video where I cut out a hole in the lid and I emptied it out and the paper roll holder and I took tape and I taped it on the inside of the tube and put it onto the container. And you want to make you want to make sure that the tube is pretty much all the way out of the lid. That way it's nice and long and they could they can see it drop down into the hole and see it on the outside as well. And if you have balls that are just uh big enough to fit in here but not too small that's perfect i do not so i'm going to be using pom-pom balls the goal of this activity is to encourage them to work on their problem solving and creative thinking as well as their hand dexterity and coordination by figuring out how to get the ball into the tube and to understand how to drop the ball into the tube and watch what's happening when they drop the ball. It just gives them a sense of gravity and understanding that when they let go of something in the air, it will fall. Or if they're climbing on something, they could fall. Now we're going to review our animal noises and signs. What does a duck say? That's right. Quack. Quack, quack, quack. The sign for duck is quack, quack, quack. And then we have cow. What does a cow say? Do you know what it says? That's right, a cow says moo. And the sign for a cow is cow because of its ears. Next we have, what's this? Is that a sheep? That's right. And what do sheep say? Bah! That's correct. Good job. And what is the sign for sheep? Hmm. Remember, we have to cut the fur off sheep. That's right. Good job. And then we have bunny. What does bunny say? Bunny. And the sign for bunny. Or bunny. That's right. We have chicken. What does chicken say? Tweet, tweet, tweet. Or bock a doo doo doo. And chicken. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Piggies. What do piggy say? What's the sign for pig? The sign for pig is... That's right. Good job. Horse? What does a horse say? What does a horse say? Can you tell me what a horse says? Good job. Nay! And the sign for horse is, the sign for horse is horse. Good job. And then the last one is frog. What does a frog say? That's right, ribbit. And do we remember the sign for frog? That's right, frog. Good job. And we have some new animals. What is this? <gasps> it's a dog. What do doggies say? Woof, woof. That's right. And we know the sign for dog. Good job. <gasps> What's this? A mouse. What does the mouse say? That's right. Mouse go. 
and the sign for mouse is mouse. Their little noses. What's this? It's an owl. Do you know what an owl says? They say, woo, 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 woo. And the sign for owl is this. Because they're big, wide eyes. And the last one is a cat. We know the sign for cat, but what do cats say? That's right, and the sign is cat with their whiskers. All right, good job, guys. Now we're going to be reading All Fall Down by Helen Oxenbury. Singing all together, la 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 la. They're singing together. Running round and round. Run as fast as you can. Look how fast they're running. They're like, go, 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 go. Bouncy, bouncy on the bed. Bouncy, bouncy, bounce, bouncy, bounce. Jump, jump. All fall down. Whoa. They made a big kabunk. Oh man, they all fell on top of each other. The end. Before I go, I want to show you a dog in his natural habitat. What's he doing? Can anybody tell me what he's doing? He's chewing on his bone. That's right. Good job. All right, everybody, that is it for today. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.